There you go. Okay. Oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, my name is Nadine Putz. I'm from uh, Hochschule von Rhein-Sieg University of Applied Sciences from the Department of Computer Science. And what? Um, and I'm working there um, uh, in the team international, as we call ourselves. So I will be uh, responsible for. Um, welcoming uh, international students um, and sending our students abroad, for example, um, to York University. And I'm very uh, honored to have two of our students here with me, so uh, Konstantin and Tim. Um, they are from uh, Hochschule Bonn Rhein Sieg University from the Department of Computer Science, and they um, are also here. So if you have questions to them, um, please feel uh, free uh, after the talk uh, also to um, to send uh, to to uh, take some questions to them. Okay. Um, maybe next slide. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. okay. Just let me know. Or you just give me the device and thank you. The arrows. So just some facts about the university. Um, we've been partners with York University for quite some time. Uh, we, we exchanged students for winter and summer schools back to 2002, we just uh, learned, and um, also the long-term exchange for the whole semester. Um, and so we have several activities. I'm going to talk about that later, but uh, just about our universities, uh, our university, it is, we are a small university um, concepted in uh, for around 2000. We grew well past beyond that, almost 10,000 students now and still growing. We have five departments distributed uh, across three campuses around Bonn and one institute, the Bonn Aachen International Center for Information Technology within Bonn. Um, and um, so we're not as international as York University, it's only 16, 17% uh, international students, mostly in our international master's programs, but we, we pride ourselves of being a, a, a a uh, research intensive uh, university of, uh, of applied sciences, which is not typical uh, for this type of university. Um, with our 17 research institutes, we are uh, quite good on that. Um, yeah. Um, so I, I just uh, um, wrote down all of the um, courses, all of the study programs we do have um, uh, in all our departments. I highlighted uh, the computer science, the green one, um, and I highlighted those who are international um, uh, programs. So you can see, I won't read it everything out to you, but you just let your eyes wander a bit. Um, so in the upper line, there are our three um, uh, undergraduate programs, computer science, business information systems, and cybersecurity and privacy. They are not international programs. However, we do have English, uh, English classes, English courses offered within these programs. And there are our um, four masters programs, two of them, are um, are or are going to be um, uh, international programs. So all of the courses will be offered in English. So um, I like to share this um, this slide with you uh, because it shows uh, the location of um, of our university um, within Europe. So we are in the uh, the western uh, part of Germany, um, in the Rhine Valley, uh, quite densely populated, um, 
quite densely populated area close to Bonn and to Cologne. Actually, the uh, the train ride is um, similar. Uh, so there is a similar long train ride from, uh, to Cologne and to Bonn. So around 20 minutes to Bonn and let's say 30 minutes to Cologne. Um, and um, what what is uh, what strikes most is actually that we're quite in the middle of a lot of European capitals being away only, let's say, a three hours train ride. So let's say for Amsterdam, it's you you get in a train and it's um, you're there in three and a half hours. Uh, same story with Brussels, Paris a little bit longer, Hamburg, Berlin, four hours, four to five hours. Prague, well, I think you need to uh, switch trains there in, in Nuremberg, but still it's it's reachable. Um, and also London, you'd need to go on a ferry or uh, drive through the tunnel there. So, but what I wanted to show you is, so we're right in the heart of Europe. And um, so everything is close by and it's it's only a matter of getting into a train to um uh to get into uh to get see a new new capital so i have here some general information on studying at hbrs as an exchange student um just for you to understand our um organization of the uh academic year we are um uh, we have two semesters. Our academic year has two semesters, the winter and the summer semester. Um, so the winter semester is where our academic year starts, September until mid-February, so a bit longer than your fall term. And our summer semester starts by the end of March until and goes until mid-July. So um, as, in, as it is, uh, a rule in, in Germany, we do not charge tuition. However, uh, but we do charge a service fee of around 300, 320 per semester. So if you stay uh, one semester, um, this will cost you uh, maybe 450 Canadian, roughly. Um, so, but this Service fee it includes several services as it, uh, as the name is telling you. So uh, the most important one is the public transport. So um, public transport within uh, the region is uh, is included. Not all over Europe, of course. So so if you want wanted to go to Amsterdam, this would be a train ride that you would have to pay for, but. In the region, let's say to Cologne or um, or to Düsseldorf, um, uh, would be uh, would be included. Also, um, unlike here, um, we do have a um, we do have what we call a mensa on our campus. It is um, it is not private. It is it is a public place where you can. Uh, have your uh, lunch uh, where you can have lunch. So um, and it, it is subsidized for students. So if you are an, uh, an enrolled student at HBRS, um, your the cheapest meal, a soup you could get is one euro fifty, which would be up to two, maybe two Canadian dollars. This is I would consider it a full meal. Some wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, but it can go up to five euros, so um, seven Canadian. Um, also, accommodation as it, as it is for um, in student residences is relatively cheap. So it's if you have a, a small apartment, twenty square meters, a small kitchen, a small bathroom, uh, a furnished apartment, three hundred per month roughly. Um, I this would be the student residence. So if you would like to come on exchange uh, to HBRS, you would apply uh, to come there. And with your application, you can also apply for a student residence. You can also try to get a 
uh, into an, uh, a shared apartment, I would recommend to give it some time to book an Airbnb for the first month and then apply for getting into a, share, a shared flat. Um, this can be cheaper or more expensive than 300. So, um, and it can be nicer and nicer or um, uh, located or uh, less nice located than uh, the student residences, which are mostly in Bonn, the student residences. So um, our university is not, uh, our campus is not located in Bonn. It is in St. Augustine, which is outside of Bonn, a 20 minutes commute from the center of Bonn. Um, and um, yeah, so so you would live in Bonn, which is a, the former capital of Western Germany uh, um, until the 90s. Um, and it is uh, 320,000 inhabitants um, city. Well, it is a, a nice city. I, I myself lived, I used to live there for a time and I really enjoyed it. It's a nice smaller city than Cologne, for example, which is about a million. So and at the bottom, you see a link um, leading you to, uh, to my uh, overview of our English study program. So our official course catalogs are not very telling about if a course is or isn't uh, taught in English. So I decided to maintain a separate uh, website, giving an overview about that. So you will see um, courses offered in winter for undergraduates, bachelor courses in winter, bachelor courses in summer, and master courses as well. So for fourth year students, we do have um, an exception going on that they can also um, choose from our first year master courses because we do have a three year bachelor course, uh, um, study program. They can also pick courses from our first year of master. Um, courses. So, okay. So one addition. Yeah. But the uh, service fee also includes <laughs> kind of camp sport, for example, table tennis or soccer or ultimate frisbee, for example. Thank you. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. So this is information on our summer school uh, that we offer at HBRS also next year. So we will offer a, a course on operating systems um, with our uh, with the instructor Ken Kent. He's also a Canadian but he's also an honorary professor at HBRS. So he likes to spend some time every year at HBRS and the summer school is always a nice uh, way of uh, him um, teaching classes at HBRS. So um, it is located in um, in the first session of summer, of, in your first session of summer, um, from May 2 to June 21st. This is to be confirmed since the dates of uh, session of summer are not yet determined, but it is it will be around these days. So um, the first three weeks are online teaching, and the second uh, part of the course will be in person at HBRS. So you may expect to uh, to come to HBRS by the end of May, beginning of June, and have accommodation at HBRS during June, during the month of June. Um, of course, it will be uh, the language of instruction will be English, and we already have. Uh, the times of the course, uh, of the course. So, um, since it will be, um, um, uh, since it will be offered um, uh, on, in two places, so also for our students in Germany, uh, we have to start very early here at York, um, at eight a.m. to nine twenty, and uh, in our. Uh, Central European summertime, this will translate to uh, 2 p.m. to 3.20. And um, 
You will uh, see the photo below our three guys uh, that from our this from this year's um, 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 from this year's uh, summer school. So um, they kindly uh, allowed to uh, show their picture here in this presentation. So more information, good to know. You will have classes together with our students, with the German students, and also other international students. So we will uh, uh, offer this course also to uh, other partner universities. And the course will be taught in a way that you can have it recognized towards your degree. So it can, uh, so the students, um, will have it, uh, so it is a full university co uh, course, you can have it uh, recognized as um, your operating systems course here. Um, and some soft facts, um, so there are several long weekends in this period, period due to bank holidays, so this is Pentecost, Corpus Christi, and Christ Ascension, so there will be tw plenty of time to do some traveling, while you were uh, you are there, um, go to Berlin, go to Amsterdam or Paris, um, and you will be. Uh, I just noticed while, while I was preparing for the slide, uh, there will be the European Soccer Club, uh, uh, Cup uh, starting during that period. So um, I know you Canadians are really crazy about hockey, and it's the same for us in Germany with soccer. Um, so, uh, and plus, um, so depending on how the German team plays, and we do have a new coach, a promising new coach, so I hope uh, we will be playing uh, well. So, um, uh, there will be a good mood. So, there will be uh, lots of what we call public viewing events um, in, in, in every beer garden, in every, um, also at our, on our campus, there will be, probably they will announce uh, some public viewing events. And maybe you will be able to, uh, to shoot some, um, to shoot some, some tickets for, for uh, a live event. I haven't been to, uh, to a stadium though, so, this would be quite interesting too. And maybe you will end up soccer fans as well. <laughs> um, yeah, um, as I told you, there is, we have multiple activities going on between York University and, um, um, and HBRS. One of them is the dual degree program. So I'm not sure if everybody is familiar with uh, a dual degree. It is actually um, two bachelor degrees in computer science from two universities in four years. So you will be enrolled in, uh, or you are enrolled in the specialized honors program four years here at York University, and you will also get a degree from HBRS uh, with, while spending your third year at HBRS. So, um, I wrote down some uh, admission requirements, um, the minimum of 54 credits before you will leave uh, uh, Canada, a GPA of minimum five, no language proficiency certificate uh, required, although I always uh, trust that it is good to know some German before you leave here. Um, and we also have uh, one student of uh, 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 Taiwan um, is currently in this program. She's also with us. Say hi. <laughs> so if you have some questions regarding um, that, um, just feel free to ask. Um, so details of the program. Um, during your third year, uh, so you just do the first two years um, as you would um, uh, do according to your regular specialized honors program. Um, and where, uh, during your third year, you will study courses at HBRS for one semester, which is the winter semester, uh, which is 30 ECTS. Um, 
and this translate, uh, tr translates roughly to, um, to 15 credits uh, here at York, um, five courses roughly. Um, and this is why I inserted a Christmas market um, picture in here so for, for the winter semester. And in spring, you will start a 10 week internship, which is a, an HBRS degree requirement at uh, ICS Forth on Crete, um, which is in Greece. Um, it has various laboratories I just checked um, and covers basically all of the areas um, that computer science has. And um, as a continuation of your uh, internship, you work there for your bachelor thesis. So this is also an HBRS degree requirement. So the thesis is about uh, three months and um, the internship is 10 weeks. And so, and for the fourth year, you go back to York University to do the remaining courses. And by remaining courses, uh, we have to be careful to satisfy your uh, requirements and also HVRS requirements. So we will be uh, um, we will be careful to um, uh, to consult you with that. Oh, okay. So we're there already. So but now I'll be open for questions if you have some. Give me one second and stop sharing. We'll pause the recording.